standing, uh, just stand in the middle of your mat, facing the screen. Take your feet hip width apart and just find those three points underneath your feet, so your big toe, your little toe and your heel, and then just draw up the arches underneath the feet. Pull in your tummy muscles, so we, we've still got them, so pelvic floor and your transverse abdominus, so pull your tummy button back towards your spine, tuck your tailbone in slightly, slightly tuck under the tailbone, and then we're just going to go to the shoulders. Draw the shoulders up to the ears and circle them back. And just notice as you lift the shoulders what's happening with the tummy muscles. So just check, you're still drawing in the tummy muscles as you lift the shoulders. Try not to hold the breath. Breathing in as you lift them up to the ears, breathing out as they come down. If you want to put a little bit more into that, you breathe in and then just shake them down. Breathing in and out. So just circling the shoulders back, hopefully releasing any tension. We hold a lot of tension in our shoulders. Keep filling in the tummy muscles. Take the shoulders down and back. You need a bit of space to your sides here now. So lift one arm up level with your shoulder and then bring your ear down onto your shoulder. Then reach out to the side. So you might feel this down the sides. Then we're going to sweep that all the way up towards the ceiling and all the way across to the other side. Bring in the other arm and take a really big side stretch. Really feel that side stretch going all the way down this side. Keep pulling in the tummy muscles and then we release. And then we go the other side, so lift the arm up level with the shoulder. Ear goes slowly down towards the shoulder and then reach to the sides. Keep pulling in the tummy muscles, lift that up to the ceiling, all the way over, bring the other hand in, take that side bend. Send the breath right into that side bend. And release, we'll go one more each side, so it's left, ear down to shoulder, release the neck, reach out to the sides. Tummy to pull it in, lift up to the ceiling, take it over. And keep the hips still, side stretch. And you can really pull your fingertips right across if you want to. And release. Last one, lift up. Ear down to shoulder. Reach out to the side. Centre to the ceiling, take it over. Bring in that side bend. You can pull those little fingers across. Pulling in the tummy muscles. And then slowly release. Brilliant. Go a little bit wider with the feet. We're going to do, do our squats. Optional if you want to go sideways on so I can look at your position. So feet hip width apart, bend the knees, reach the hands forwards. Now you're aiming here, your shoulders are going to go over you, go on top of your knees and then rising back up. Sinking back down and rising back up. Try not to, to let the arches underneath the feet drop. So stay strong underneath those three points underneath the feet. Squeeze the glutes as you lift. Breathing out to come down. Breathing in to rise. You get that nice lift on the ribcage. Breathing out to come down. Three more. Let's stay really strong in the squats now. Really lifting and pushing up. Two, and last one, and lift. Nice, okay. And then just open the shoulders with um, a scapula set. So you've got your hands, they're level with your elbows. Shoulders are down and back, and you just open. Okay, I'm going to show you sideways on. We're going to open and put a little bit of a back bend in there as well. So you're getting a really nice chest stretch. Then bring your shoulders forwards. Slide your hands down your legs into a forward bend. You might be able to touch your toes, you might feel your hamstrings. Breathing out, uncurl, coming back up, take the shoulders down and back. Back into your scapula set. Maybe take the eye gaze up as well, get that nice stretch across the chest. And then we go again. Hands slide down the legs. Slowly coming down towards the floor, might feel the backs of the legs get you stretch. 
And again, uncurl, lifting back up. Set the shoulders back. Bring in the scapula stretch. Maybe take the eye gaze up. Feel that lift on the rib cage, And then slowly coming back down into your forward fold. Really nice. Now walk your hands forwards. Find your downward dog. So just alternate, pushing one heel down and then the other heel down in your downward dog. So stretching the back of the leg, backs of the legs. If you haven't done downward dog for a while, it might feel a bit, a bit stiff. Thinking here about lifting up your hips, getting your ears between your arms and your, your knees towards your chest. So there's lots of stretching in there. Couple more breaths. <laughs> I can't see anyone anymore because all the screens that um, I can see all your bookcases and your ceilings. <laughs> but that's fine, no worries. <laughs> We're gonna come down into all fours. Knees under hips and hands under shoulders. So you, you're gonna know some of these moves, okay? So we're gonna go for the swimming. So pull in pelvic floor and pull in transverse abdominis. So pulling in those tummy muscles. Tuck the tailbone in ever so slightly. Straighten the left leg. Take that low handshake on the right arm. You know where this is going. Breathing out, lift your hand up level with your shoulder, your leg level with your hip, and let's just hold. It's a bit late for Christmas crackers, but <laughs> Imagine now you're a Christmas cracker, so you're getting pulled from both your hand stretching forwards and your foot going backwards. Really stretch and squeeze, it's a really good glute move. Keep squeezing. Keep breathing. So from here, we're going to drop both hand, both foot down, and then breathing out, lift again. And then bringing down, and then lift. So just working those two levers. And then you're going to work on keeping the hips still and the core nicely pulled in tight. Try not to wobble. Four more. Lift and squeeze. You should feel it in the glute. Lift. Think about your arm getting up level with your shoulder. Particularly the runners in the room there. <laughs> tight. <laughs> Try and get that arm up level with the shoulder. Last one. And lift. And then we're going to Keep that leg, that left leg lifted, bring the right hand down, spin yourself round so that you're facing the screen. Oh, but you're all in different positions. So basically, like this. <laughs> Take your hand under your shoulder. So we're gonna work a little bit on our sides and obliques here and in and out our legs. So we're gonna pause. Put one, this top hand rested behind your ear and aim your elbow up towards the ceiling. So we've got a nice little chest stretch straight away. Pull in the core and it's a leg lift. So we're working here hip mobility, inner and out of thigh, and we're working on the core. Might feel a bit tight if you haven't done it for a while. That's okay, that's allowed. <laughs> keep thinking about the chest, but try not to let the chest crumble in. Keep opening, keep the rib cage nice and stretched. Lots of space in there. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then it's knee to top elbow and it's a stretch. So it's knee crunching in the middle and it's a stretch. Don't forget to breathe. Breathing out on that stretch. <laughs> It's a little bit hippy, you might feel it around the hips. Two more. Keep drawing in the core. Try not to let the, the rib cage really crunch forwards on this one, okay? So still keeping that space, especially on the stretch part. Last one. And then release, and we'll go back round to all fours. And we'll go on the other side. So we start with the right leg, straightening out. Check the tailbone is pulled in, you're pulling in the core. Lift the right leg, left arm's on a low handshake, and lift. 
Go back to your Christmas cracker and just really now work on finding that length in this move. So really reaching forwards with that hand, reaching forwards, reaching backwards with that foot. Hold and squeeze that glute. Keep breathing. Keep pulling in the core. And then release it back down. Breathing out, lift. Breathing in, lower. Breathing out, lift. Breathing in, lower. Keep pulling in the core. Try and keep the hips still. Just feel that, that right glute really getting a squeeze on this. Thinking about the arm, it's going up level with the shoulder. So if you've been doing a lot of kind of reading, studying, you've been bent over quite a bit, that's, that is quite tricky. You have to really work at that stretch. Get the arm up level with the shoulder. Eight, seven, keep breathing. Six, five, four, and three, and two, and one. Keep it up and then spin it round. So we go to the uh, stuff on the side. I switched myself around so I can still face you then. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> Hand under shoulder. Straight away you're thinking about opening the chest and giving that ribcage a bit of space. Elbows going up towards the ceiling and you're going to go for that leg lift. Again, check your breathing. You're not holding your breath on any of these moves. Tying it in, you breathe out as you lift. Breathe in to lower. Keep thinking about the elbow going up to the ceiling. Keep pulling in the core. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release it down. Then we go elbow to knee and release, open, stretch. Elbow to knee, release, open, stretch. So just have a little glance down the mat and look where the, the, the foot is going. Check it's going to the middle of that mat. I just, I just clocked mine going right back towards the wall. So have a little look there. Keep that ribcage nice and open. Three more. And last one. And release it all back down. Okay, so we're gonna come and lie down on our fronts. So, get yourself comfy, elbows level with shoulders, hands level with elbows. We're gonna go for the swan dive. Forehead down towards the mat. Breathing out, lift the head and shoulders. Breathing in, lower. Breathing out, lift. Just notice how high you're getting with your elbows down. Because if you want to progress here, you're going to try and get to the same height, lifting your elbows, your hands up. So it's breathing out, lift. Breathing in, lower. Keep your legs relaxed, your feet relaxed. And think about your tummy muscles here, so still pulling in, still drawing in pelvic floor, still pulling in that transverse abdominis, your tummy button up towards your spine. So this is like your number one move for improving your posture. So if you're doing a lot of kind of um, studying, computer work or washing up, breathe out, lift. Breathing in, then breathing out, reach your hands forwards now. Bring it back and lowering it down. There's three breaths in there. It's breathing out, lift. Breathing in, breathing out, extend and reach forwards. Try and stay on that height. Breathing in, back, breathing out, come down. And then again, reaching forwards. Bring it back and lowering it down. Last one. Breathing out, reach forwards, try and stay on that lift. Bringing it back down. And we're gonna release with a cat stretch, so we're back on all fours. 
knees under your hips, hands under your shoulders, and we're lifting the top of the back. So tuck your tailbones in here, relax your feet. Take your head down, chin towards your chest. And you can really kind of suck in and pull in your abdominal here. A couple of breaths. We release that back down and we're going to go to that front leg pull or the plank. Some people call it the plank, don't they? So, elbows under shoulders. First of all, just find the pelvic floor and pull in. Then find your core, so find your transverse abdominals. So gently pull in your tummy button back towards your spine. You might get a tilt on the pelvis. Then we're going to just lift up the hips. So it's a very low table here. So optional now, we're going to go eight breaths. Optional to stay in this position with your knees down or if you want a bit more, straightening one leg, then straightening the other leg. Alternate, and you're really focusing here on your hips being still. And you're pulling in the core. If you're feeling really strong in the core, you're going to lift both legs straight on a nice low table, so that's your plank position. And the really, really hard focus here is on that core, so really pulling up the tummy button up towards the spine. Take one check on your shoulders, so shoulders down away from ears. Shoulders aren't right next to the ears on this. Keep breathing, it's time to hold your breath. Four more breaths. Last breath. Lowering one knee down and then the other knee down. Bring it all the way back down. We'll go one, once more on that one. So same set up, pelvic floor in, transverse abdominis in, lifting up the hips. Check the shoulders are down away from the ears. You're not holding your breath. If you want more, tuck the toes under. Take that full plank position. Or maybe you like the knee drops. All the time we're keeping this really low table, low plank. Four more breaths. If you scrunch up your fingers, I just noticed I was doing that then, try and just release them. <laughs> try and keep the body relaxed, except the core. Last breath. Bring the knees down, lower the hips down. We're going to release with the child's pose. So sitting back towards the heels. Reach the hands forward. See if you can go forehead down onto the mat. Just take some nice deep breaths and send the breath right down towards the lower back. So right down into the abdomen. So from there, we're going to go into a bit more abdominals. So we're going to switch over and turn onto our backs. So I just do that so you get a little bit better. I'm getting really hot. My, my mum's got the heating on. <laughs> I'm boiling in the kitchen here. <laughs> That's okay. Right. So we're going to go for the 100. So lie down on your backs. Find the length of the back of the neck. So chin slightly coming down towards the chest. Find your pelvic floor and pull in. Find the transverse abdominus, so where your tummy button is, pull that down towards the mat. Try not to hold the breath, keep the shoulders relaxed. So it's one leg to tabletop. You remember your tabletops, you've got your right angle behind the knees. Lower it back down, swap sides, other leg to tabletop. And lower it. So we're alternating. Lift, tabletop. And lower Place your hands on your hips. Now just notice, as you lift, as you lower, if your hips are tilting side to side. And you're aiming now with your core to keep those hips really still. So it's a lot of, kind of deep focus here, deep concentration into what the hips are doing. You might be happy with this and you feel like your hips are still. I'm feeling strong. I'm going to go a little bit further. So it's one leg to tabletop. Then imprint the lower back. So it's a little bit more effort in the core to push down the lower back, other leg to tabletop. So we're up in tabletop. You don't need to be on this level if you don't want to be. You can always feel your arms straight, fingertips on the knees, you know where you're at. Okay, toe tap down from tabletop. And lift. 
Now the important thing here is that you're pulling in your core and you're keeping that right angle behind the knee. So sometimes you just have to ease your toes down towards the edge of the mat to get in the right position. If you bring the angle in on your tip on your on your behind your knee, you're not really gonna leave it leave it right for the core. Brilliant. Okay. Stay in tabletop. So both feet up in tabletop and bring the eye gaze towards the knees, lift the head and shoulders. We're gonna pulse the arms up and down. And at the same time, we're gonna really focus on pulling in the core. So the transverse abdominis with the tummy button sits, really focus on that one now and try not to hold the breath. Pulsing up and down. Four, three, two, one. Straighten the legs. Reaching up towards the knees. You get a little bit of a crunch here on the upper abs. Hold, but keep breathing. Four, three, two, one. Release it out. So we're going to go for that. We're going to go four toe taps, eight pulses, and we'll go for it. We'll go for a four second half this time. Normally I do eight, right? So start in your tabletops. You can always do it in base base level with your feet down if you prefer. So tabletops if we're on tabletops. Check you're in the right position. Pull in the pelvic floor. Find your transverse abdominis. Let's go for the toe taps. Ready for three. Two, shoulders are relaxed. One, lift the head and shoulders. Eight, seven, pulse. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Straighten the legs. Hold, ready, four, three, two, one. Release it back to the tabletop with you again. Toe taps, four, three, try not to hold the breath. Two, and one. Keep putting in the core, lift, pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Straighten the legs, reach and hold. Four, three, keep breathing. Two, one, and release it back to tabletop. Should we go again? Oh, no one can talk. <laughs> three, we've gone. <laughs> two, and one, lift and pulse. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Straight in the legs, reaching up towards the knees, ready to hold. Four, three, two, one, and release it back to tabletop. Two more. Toe tap. Four, three. Think of the pelvic floor. Two, one. Lift, pulse. Eight, seven. Think transverse abdominis. Lost count. Six. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Straighten the legs, reaching up, ready to hold. Keep breathing. Four, three, two, one. Release. Last time. You've got this. Ready? Four. Toe taps. Three, two, one. Lifting up, pulsing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, straight in the legs, reach up towards the knees. Last one, four, three, keep breathing. Two, one, and slowly release, feet back down. Just take a full body stretch, if you've got the space. <laughs> Point your toes, arms over the head. Imagine you're a piece of celery. <laughs> Take some deep breaths. So from here, we're gonna to go to our single leg stretch. So bend the knees, feet on the mat to start with, and we're just gonna hug one knee to the chest. Notice here if you're tilting. So notice if you're tilting to one side on that. It might just mean you're a little bit tight. So just be aware of that. Try and keep your hips still, try not to tilt, straightening out the other leg. This in itself is a lovely stretch. Then we're just gonna swap legs, but pull in the core, brace, ready? Swap the legs. And then again, into a swap. Now you can lift the head and shoulders now and look towards that knee that you're bringing up. 
So we're going into our single leg stretch and we're keeping the control. We're trying not to let those hips tilt as we lift the knee towards the chest. Breathing out and into the stretch, ready? You can point toes. Keep it going. Sorry, we have a ten, 10 minutes to go. <laughs> Warning. <laughs> Adding in now that, okay, so take the, the, the hand down towards the heel, the outside hand to the heel, inside to the knee, and you can switch that around. Outside to the heel, inside to the knee. And all we actually do is ease one of the, the outside shoulder down to that, to that heel. And you get a little bit of an oblique. Kind of work out in the sides of the body. Outside to the heel, inside to the knee. And bring that control back in. So bring it through the core, put in the core. Four, three, and two. And one, both knees towards the chest. We're going to go for our double leg now. So it's breathing out. Both legs are sliding away, arms are going over the head. Coming back in to a little ball shape. And then again, straightening out the legs, arms are over the head. Now if you feel like your lower back's peeling off with that, maybe just take a, a slide or a one leg. So just take the leverage off a little bit. If you want a little bit more, arms over the head and circle them around the sides of the body if you've got that space coming back to your ball double leg stretch breathing out into that full body stretch circle the hands round all the time we're pulling in pelvic floor pulling in those core muscles two more double leg stretch breathing out last one Then just bending the knees, place the feet on the mat, about hip width. If you've got the space, arms out to the sides. If not, maybe elbows out to the sides. And it's breathing out, let both knees drop across to one side. So it's that lovely lower back stretch. And then you can look in the other direction to your knees. And you might, if you've got your arms out to the sides, you might really feel that chest stretch there. Breathing in back to centre. Breathing out over to the other side. This is one of my favourite stretches. So we can add to that. Okay, if you want, you can stay with the stretch, or if you want a bit more, we go back to those tabletops. So up to tabletop, put in the core. Breathing out, both knees drop across to one side, and then you can lengthen out to the corners of your room or the corners of your mat. So you get this lovely stretch in the backs of the legs and the hamstrings. Breathing in at the center, over to the other side, and then lengthening over to the other side. And then again, back into the middle. You, you're starting to pull in the core for this, and it's a really nice oblique move this one. So there's uh, core muscles that are on the sides of the body. You might also feel the chest stretch. We'll do two more. And last one, breathing out into your stretch. Bring it back down, feet on the floor, and just walk your heels a bit closer to your bum. We'll go for a shoulder bridge. Keep your feet here, shoulder width apart. Try not to let the arches of the feet drop in or the knees turn in. So, start with a pelvic tilt. So draw in pelvic floor, draw in toe muscles, just gently tilt the pelvis, perhaps lifting off your, your hips, and then just slowly bring it back down. And then again, lift. Keep that control, so really slowly letting the lower back come down. So if you want a bit more and you're ready, take the hips all the way up. Imagine you've got a ski slope there from your knees, going down towards your shoulders. Get your chin tucked in, chin towards chest. You can bring the arms, if you've got the space, over the head. So we're resting on the backs of our shoulders. 
So we're really high and we're squeezing our glutes and our shoulder bridge and if you want a bit more, one leg up towards the ceiling. Really push way behind the knee so you contract the quads. Swap that over by keeping the hips still, so really pushing up through the glutes. Again, just feel the hamstring stretch in there when the, when the foot goes up towards the ceiling. Placing it back down, nice and still on your swaps. Two more. Pushing up through that glute. Sending it up from the heel. Swapping it over. Last one. Placing that foot back down, bring the arms back over. And just ever so slowly lower yourself back down. Bring the knees into the chest, a little bit of a rock or a circle. And if you're feeling active, you could rock yourself all the way back up. Otherwise, turn on your side. Make yourself back up to sitting. So, let's go legs straight. Seated position. Nice and upright. So shoulders back, lift at the rib cage. So, you know, right up on those sit bones here, flex the feet. So already flexing the feet, I can feel the tension in the hamstrings here, a little bit tight. Reaching up towards the ceiling. So think now, can you get your arms around your ears? And you've got to work at that sometimes if you've been a little bit kind of um, bent over bad posture. Breathing in, look up to the ceiling. Breathing out, circle the arms down and around you to try and touch those toes. <laughs> Breathing in, lifting back up. Breathing out now, you've got a bubble bath. You're going to go halfway down into your bubble bath. Circle the arms down. Coming back up into that upright position. Really think about posture there. Ooh, circle round. Touch the toes. And then lift. think about the flow now. If you want a bit more, you've got the space all the way down. Vertebrae by vertebrae, slowly down. Circle the arms down and around, bringing yourself back up. Thinking about that upright position and forwards. Such a good move there, it really ties everything in together. Oh, I'm hitting everything here. <laughs> Circle it around. Posture at the top. Circling forwards, keep those feet flat. Last one, all the way down, nice and slow. Keep the heels down on the floor, press into those heels, bring it back up, reaching up towards the ceiling. Oh, I'm back room. I just better. <laughs> My mum's cupboard's got a bit of a pounding there. Okay, finishing up then. Facing me across the legs, or if that's a bit tight, legs straight or sit on a block. We want to get nice and upright here, so I'll show you sideways on. The same thing that we just did then about posture, shoulders back, lift at the rib cage. Find the length at the back of the neck. So sometimes chin goes slightly down towards the chest. Nice and upright. I forgot what I was going to do then. And then we're going to go for a spine twist, so fingers together, thumbs together. Make a little steeple. Fingers underneath the chin, thumbs into the sternum. Breathe in, get nice and tall. Breathing out, just a very small twist here to the side. Breathing in to centre. And breathing out other side. And actually, if you can see yourself here in the video, you can actually, when you're in the centre point, just see if your shoulders are level. They're level and they're down, away from the ears. Have a little self-check on posture. So re release out of that, legs straight. You probably remember this one, a big bowl of porridge. You're going to stir that porridge, reaching forwards. Thinking about the posture at the top end, and as you reach, reaching, and you'll feel the hamstring stretching, breathing out. Other way around. And last one. 
bring the legs back in together, press a little bit of a shape. And we'll finish just